What's up everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker AMV tutorial, we're going to continue our JavaScripting for Beginners series. So, at first I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing, and then I'll show you how to make it. In this episode, we're going to be covering timers. So, if we activate the beginning of the puzzle or whatever, we see we have a timer in the top right corner here. And if we finish the puzzle and we get to where we need to go and we trigger the thing off, well then we got the, the timer to shut off. But if we trigger the timer and we can't figure out the puzzle in time, whatever the puzzle is, you can design your puzzle. And you can't get to the end to shut off the timer in time. What happens is, game over. So really, really simple. Let me show you how to make something like that. Of course, you can have it do whatever you want when the timer runs out. This is just a simple uh, showcase. So to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to create an event that's going to start a timer. You can have this uh, be triggered by anything at all. So basically, you turn on a switch and the timer is going to start. So in this case, I have uh, the character activating a pillar and then the switch is turned on and then the timer starts. But you can turn on the switch in any event however you want to do it. So this is just one way to do it. So, uh, you can do this with the game editor as well, but since it's a JavaScripting tutorial, I decided to do uh, all of it in JavaScript, well, most of it in JavaScript, to, except for the game over part. So, because we'll get there though. So the first thing you're going to do, dollar sign game, capital S on switches, dot set, capital V on value, the number of the, the switch that you want to turn on or off. It's a Boolean value, and true or false. So setting it to true will turn on the switch, close the parentheses, do an inline. This is uh, in the last episode we covered that. So let's go to the new stuff. So once that's, uh, that switch is turned on, we have a conditional page for right here. Now this is going to be an auto run event. So you need to make sure that you turn this switch off after this event is ran. Uh, otherwise it will freeze the game. So what we have in this script call, once the switch number 42 is turned on, we have dollar sign game capital T on timer dot start. And in these parentheses here, you put the number of frames you want it to be. So if you want it to be uh, 10 seconds, and you're running 60 frames per second, then you need to put in 600 right here. So that'll last for 10 seconds. So basically take the number of seconds you want, multiply that number by 60, and uh, then uh, that's the number you want to put for your timer. So if I wanted this to be for a minute, I would do 60 times 60, I would do 3600 here. We close the parentheses, do an inline, and then what we're doing here, since this is an auto run event and we don't want it to, to completely lock up the game, we have to turn off that switch. So dollar sign game capital S on switches dot set capital V on value, the same switch that is required to be on, which is 42, we're turning that boolean value into a false. So then we close the parentheses, do an inline. So what's happening is we're activating this with the action button, it's turning on a switch, this page is going on, it's starting the timer, it's turning off the switch so it goes back to this point. Like I said, you can control the switch however you want in another event. Um, how you stop the timer, very, very simple. You don't have to put any numbers. You just do dollar $game, capital T, on timer, dot stop. Uh, open and close parentheses to say that that's a function, and we're going to do an end line. And that'll stop the timer. Now, how you control what happens if the timer doesn't uh, reach a certain point, we're going to get to uh, conditional statements and everything, and and the next tutorial on how to do game overs and stuff but right now what we're gonna do is use the editor really really simple easy to do you want to learn JavaScript to to do things that the editor can't do but the editor can handle this pretty well so we're gonna do conditional branch go to timer say less than equal to whatever time amount you want zero minutes zero seconds and that's it inside that conditional branch you put whatever you want to happen so in this case we want it to be a game over so new game over boom but you can put whatever you want right there, like transfer the player to the beginning of the puzzle again, or whatever you want. Uh, this thing, this uh, event has to be a parallel process with no event conditions. You could um, have a switch, require a switch, but then that switch would have to be on when the timer hits zero. Otherwise, it won't even, uh, it won't work, uh, obviously. But that's it. Really simple, really short. Hopefully you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you have a special request or something you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below and I will get to it as soon as I can. You guys are great. We will see you in the next tutorial.